Now we're gonna go over how to use the floating keyboard if you uh, use the Gboard keyboard. So to go ahead and pull up the floating keyboard, you wanna go ahead and tap the arrow here on the keyboard when you have it pulled up. You'll see a bunch of different options here at the top, but we're gonna go ahead and click on the three dots. And you can see you have the floating keyboard as an option down here. And if you wanna put it up on the top here to replace one of those, you can. You can just tap and hold and replace one of them or reorganize it um, the way you want to. But we're just gonna go ahead and tap on it to bring it up. And as you can see, it's now floating. Um, and if you tap the little button down here, you can go ahead and move it to anywhere on the screen you want. And you can also, if you go ahead and tap on it, you see the corners will kind of highlight. And if you drag on the corners, you can adjust the size of the keyboard a little bit. So if you want to kind of just move the keyboard up and out of the way, you can do that. Um, and so that's kind of how you go ahead and use the floating keyboard. Um, this isn't too useful um, on phones. It's really useful on tablets, actually. If you use an Android tablet um, and you've downloaded and set up Gboard, it's really helpful. Um, and sometimes if you're using split screen mode on the phone with two apps and stuff, it's kind of nice to be able to move the keyboard around freely so it's more out of the way. Um, but to go ahead and put the keyboard back to normal, you'll just grab the button down at the bottom and drag it all the way to the bottom of the screen. And you see it kind of highlights up there. And then when you let go, um, the keyboard goes back to normal. So that's how you kind of go and use the floating keyboard um, if you want to. Again, it's usually more helpful um, for tablets or if you're um, using split screen mode or something like that on the phone. So that's how you use the floating keyboard. Hopefully that helps.